On today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite backcountry meals. It's very easy, very simple, and we're going to go through this together and show you what I do. And I love this meal because it's it's easy to make. It packs really small and uh, it's very hearty. It'll fill you up. It'll fill a tank, no problem. And uh, first ingredient is sausage of your choice. For me today, I got some moose sausages. Let's start with that. We're gonna repackage this and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it after that. So these are frozen and I'm gonna leave them frozen. Next ingredient, uh, we're gonna go with rice and that if rice is of your choice. Today I'm going to use wild rice. So let's uh, put some of this together for the back country. And I go with uh, one cup. Approximately, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now that's packaged up real good in a Ziploc bag. Throw it in the same bag as the sausage. And there it is. Two sausages, one cup of rice, the only thing to add to this, uh, if uh, you wish, is a couple of packets of butter. Those takeout uh, packets you get in your takeout food, and you get these little butter packets. I usually keep those aside for this. Throw a couple of them in the bag if you have them. It works out really good. And that's it. No seasoning, no nothing, because you get all your flavors from your sausage. So the flavor of your meal is going to be dependent on the spices in your sausage for salt and all your other flavors, okay? So let's take this, let's head out there, let's go cook it up. Well, here we are, we made it. We're on the fire side. Just like that. Our sausage, I added those two packets of butter I was talking about, and they're on there. So my sausage are uh, defrosted. In the first order of business, pick out the rice here. We have to cook up our rice. But before we start cooking our rice, I got the, uh, the fire going. There's already some good coals. I'm gonna start now. But we have to get some water. So uh, while this is warming up, just quickly, I'm using wild rice today. And wild rice, if you uh, don't know, takes a long time to cook. It takes longer than uh, your regular long grain rice, for example. So it's going to take a while. I'm going to let that water come to a boil first. And I'm going to put my rice in. And generally speaking, when you're doing rice, it's like uh, almost a one-to-one -one ratio. So one cup of rice, for example, would be one cup of water. Better if you go one cup and a little bit of water to a cup of rice. And that's the general rule of thumb. And for me, I don't, I don't really follow that. I got my bush pot there. It's filled about three quarters of the way up with water. 
and I'm gonna put my rice in there. Let's just let it cook, and I'm gonna check it periodically. And once the um, once it's almost completely cooked, I'll just drain out the excess water, leave the lid off, and let the rest evaporate. So for now, I'm gonna sign off, and I'm bring you guys back on when it's time to put the rice in there and the sausages. I'm going to wait until my water is boiling and the rice is in because uh, my sausages will cook long before my uh, rice is ready because it takes that much, that much longer with wild rice. Okay, let's get that back on there. The occasional stir is always good. Oh, that is going to be so good. I'm going to call that done. So here's what I do. Simply drain out the excess water. like that you guys see that okay all right this is where the butter packets come in I made a, uh, a cutting board here. Oh yeah, this is smelling so good. We want this shredded. Because that goes right in the pot. All right, ready for the next sausage. We're going to add some more to the mix. Let's go half. Give it a little bit of a taste test here.
Yeah, I could use, the seasoning is just about perfect. We'll add a little bit to it. Those sausages are not as uh, spicy as I anticipated they would be. Another taste test here. Yeah, that's a good, uh, those are good moose sausages. Okay, so uh, folks, there it is. That is one of my favorite meals out in the back country. It's easy to pack up, it's easy to cook, doesn't require a bunch of ingredients. And uh, it just will fill the tank. I'm not gonna eat all this. I still got another half a sausage over there. I'm gonna share it with Lexi. She's gonna be in love with that. And uh, try it out for yourself. You'll uh, and, and you can get to experiment, right? You can use any kind of sausage of, of your choice. You can even use breakfast sausage for all. You know, I mean, anything. Whatever type of rice you like, whatever type of sausage you like. You may have to add a little bit of seasoning like I did today. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.